Randy here from Restream, and this is your ultimate guide to Restream Studio. So if you're looking to create your very own live show or you're just getting started with Restream, this is the tutorial for you. To get started, open your browser and head to restream.io. From here, you'll be able to create your new account or log into an existing one. Now that's done, you've landed here on our dashboard where we can begin setting up your channels. These are where your stream will be sent to once you go live. I'm going to go ahead and get started by adding my Facebook channel. Once you've got all your channels added, you're ready to start setting up your live stream. Let's do that by clicking Enter Live Studio and entering the live studio. And welcome to Restream Studio. One of the first things you might notice are the controls just below the webcam here. These controls allow you to mute and unmute your microphone, disable and enable your webcam, access screen sharing options, invite guests to join your stream, which we'll talk about in just a moment, play any local video from your computer, and the ability to access some additional settings, such as the ability to go into 1080p if you're on our professional plan or above. If you're looking to have a guest join your stream, go ahead and click the invite guest icon here from the bottom, then copy this link. You'll want to go ahead and send this link to anybody you want to have join your stream and appear alongside of you. For this tutorial, I've got my laptop set up here in front of me and I've already gone ahead and started screen recording and I've already opened the link. So here's what it looks like. Once your guest opens the link, they'll be able to see a preview of themselves along with the ability to type in the username they want to join the stream with. Let's go ahead and hit join stream. As soon as I do that, the feed in the center will switch over to what the host sees, and I'll be able to see that I've joined here on the right hand side. As a guest, I also have the ability to view the live chat messages that are coming in once we're live, and the ability to privately chat with the host and other guests who are in the stream by opening up this private chat here and typing something in. As you can see, over on the host's computer, we have the private message icon here to show you that a message has been brought in, and you can go ahead and start controlling how you want your guests to show up. To do that, click the enable icon here, and instantly you'll see your guest has appeared in the side. This is the close-up version of our layouts, but at the top here, you can get access to the other layout option, which will show you kind of the full frame. Another thing you can do is spotlight the guest if you want them to take up most of the screen, but you don't want you and your other guests to be removed. This will just kind of put you in the bottom right hand corner and spotlight the guest. This control also works on the host if you want to spotlight somebody else. And of course, you can go full screen to get rid of everybody else and just have one person on stream. Now, let's go ahead and disable the guest from now and check out the rest of the dashboard. Moving over to the right hand side of our dashboard, you'll notice a couple tabs, including chat, captions, graphics, and setup. Each of these tabs allow you to drill down into the customization of your stream a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go through them one by one. In the chat tab, you'll see any messages sent by your live audience once you're streaming. You can also hover over top of them to show them on screen or click hide messages from the stream at the top to get rid of all the messages. In captions, you'll see something similar to chat, but a bit more customizable. Here, you can add custom nameplates, single line be right backs, call to actions, and really anything you can desire. Let's go ahead and hide this for now and head into our graphics tab. Here, we can upload logos or overlays and have them on stream, or you can use the default restream ones if you want. Below that, you'll see the videos. These allow you to play videos before you go live or while you're live. They look sort of like this. Now, let's move into backgrounds. These backgrounds can only be seen when you have a guest enabled, so let's go ahead and enable ours. As you can see, the background fills up the entire frame behind the webcams. You can switch this live or while your guest is taking up the full screen or you're taking up the whole screen or even before you start your stream. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and disable our guest. Now, moving below the background section, you'll notice a couple other options, including participant names, default graphics, and primary colors. The participant names allow you to enable those usernames that your guest set earlier, along with yours that you can set right there. Default graphics, which just enable the default graphics that we've uploaded for you. And your primary color. 
Let's go ahead and enable a caption so I can show you what that looks like. There, now that we have a caption added, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the primary color over to blue. And as you can see, it's instantly updated the caption color. This also works for your chat messages. Now, let's head into the setup tab and get ready for your stream. Here, you can add titles like, welcome to my stream, and descriptions like, thanks for stopping by. And then click update all to have them update across all your channels that are connected. Below that, you can enable and disable channels. For example, if you didn't wanna go live to Facebook, you can go ahead and disable that from here. I do, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it enabled. And now we're ready to start our stream. Like I said before, it's always good to start your stream with a countdown to give your audience some time to get there and some time for your end channels to connect and send out that notification. So let's go ahead and head into the graphics section and pick up the longest video that we have. This one says 59 seconds, so that's the one that I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick it and then I'm gonna click go live. Oh, I just noticed that my caption's still there. So let's go ahead and disable that as well because it will show up on top of the video. And then we'll go ahead and start the video and then I'm gonna hit go live. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out any of the videos on screen now to learn more.